Hey, what's going on, Ogopogo? Back in Skyrim. Thanks for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with Inigo and I while we continue on our journey. Now, a bit of a disclaimer. I don't know if you watch my subsistence videos, you know that last week I had some issues with my hard drive. It completely crashed on me, my main drive. Recently rebuilt my system and my M2 drive. Brand new M2, M2 drive, Inigo. Completely crapped out on me. And I, uh, normally I have all my programs installed on my C drive, which is my main drive, and all the data on other drives. With the exception, of course, of Skyrim. It's stored in my documents folder on my C drive, and I didn't have it backed up. Which was my bad. I dropped the ball on that one. So we had to reinstall the game. Reinstall all the mods. And get it set back up and running. And I had to start all over again. And get us back to where we were. At the end of the last recorded episode. So I just wanted to bring it to your attention. So you knew. Because when I went to do the Thieves Guild jobs. They are random. And we had to do a bunch of different jobs. And just so you know, in case one of the ones that we've already does happen to pop back up again at some point. So that's what happened, but we're good. We're back to where we were. I don't believe I missed anything. I think we've still got all of our quests. I even went back and talked to Yasolda. And, uh... Those, you know, with the mammoth tusk and little things like that. And it was a challenge, but we got it all taken care of. I don't think I missed anything. So we're ready to continue on, Inigo. Now, we got our uh, new... No, no, you're not. That was me. I apologize. I ran up on you a little bit too fast. So we got our, our new set of Thieves Guild jobs that we can go do. There's some in Solitude, some in Markarth, and some in Windhelm, and a couple in Riften again, I think. And we also have the Golden Glow job to do, but I don't know if we're quite ready for that yet. If Vex and those guys had a tough time with it, I think we should do a little more practicing and getting ourselves built up before we go and attempt it. So, the ending of my tale I began earlier. Is this your tale of single-handedly fighting off a pack of trolls or my favorite? I thought he was you talking to me. Women on the same night? Anyways, well, uh, we can here, go. So There's uh, Orion uh, Morales up at the... Wish these guys would be quiet. You're interrupting me. Stories, Let's go over here, Inigo. Come over here. Let's go discuss this over here a little bit. These guys just constant yapping. Anyways, like I was saying, Orion Morales gave us some, a list of things that he wants us to pick up so he can get his museum off the ground. And one of them happens to be just outside of Rift in here. The Sixth House Bellhammer. So we could go and take care of that. Then we can go and stop by our place in Whiterun so we can rest up and you can get yourself rested up. And then we can continue on. What do you think? What do you think of all this? Speak to me. These people are shady. I must admit I feel quite at home. Well, that's good. I'm glad you feel like you fit in because I want you to be a part of this as much as I want to be a part of it. Let's kind of look around a little bit. Spoke to a lot of these guys, but really haven't looked around a whole great deal. These tough guys with their little uh, rabbits on their bed. their stuffed animals and stuff. Indigo. What are those? No, nope, that was uh, a note or something. Hey, there's Mercer. Should we go talk to Mercer? See what he's got to say? Mercer! How are you doing today, sir? This better be important. I'm quite busy. 
I can see that. You're standing there looking over the cistern. That uh, really must uh, occupy quite a bit of your time. Better things to do than disturb me. I'm not disturbing you. I just wanted to come and say hi and see how you were doing. This better be important. I'm quite busy. I can see that. You just keep doing what you're doing. How, how often do you get to go to your boss's desk and just kind of root around? Just kind of this curious. Be important. I'm quite busy. Yeah, I know. I, I, you, you've told me this. East Empire Connection. You mind if I read this, Mercer? You don't seem to mind. Mercer. I pressed our contact at the East Empire Company for information, but that lizard is stubborn as he is careless. He claims the company has nothing to offer, but I think he's hiding something. I suggest that you refrain from having him visited by the Brotherhood for now. Oh. He may yet be of some use to us. I don't want to take that. So Mercer's got contacts with this brotherhood. We gotta find out what that's all about, Indigo. You tired, pal? I have a need of Sinric. Mercer, I'd consider it a personal favor if we could once again utilize Sinric's unique skills for a delicate situation at the Sahita Mine. Wolf's friend has been incarcerated, not horrible place, and I would should I should like him freed as soon as possible. Recommend Sinric avoid the Forsworn element that's prevalent within the mine and stick to as simple an escape as possible. Interesting. What's this? Thieves kill crossbow manual. We can make. Pretty I've never said nothing about that. Cross. Thieves Guild Crossbow Crafting Manual. Yeah, it's an ebony weapon. Right up your alley, Inigo. We need leather, firewood, steel ingot, and two ebony ingots. Ooh. This looks cool. Oh, you need ebony smithing. We gotta build our smithing up, Inigo. Ah, uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna keep that, Mercer. It might come in handy. You build crossbows. Me, my friend. Well, Inigo, maybe we should be on our way. Go have a bite to eat, maybe? What do you think? I'm just kind of killing some time because it's only uh, 1.45 in the morning and I don't know if I really want to travel out on those roads. Shadow marks. Hey, here's another pair of those Thieves Guild gloves. Keep them for backup or we could sell them. Read Shadow Marks. What are the Shadow Marks? By Delvin Mallory. Delvin wrote a book? Need to know your way around, eh? Don't want to stumble into a necromancer's house or fall into another trap set by the city guard? Then you need to read this book from cover to cover. Learning to identify the shadow mark can mean the difference between making a fortune and ending up with a blade in your gut. Clever little marks are carved all over Skyrim, mostly on the door frames or front of buildings. Indigo, we've seen those things. I didn't know. I, I wondered what they were. You can find them pretty much anywhere it's a, a thief has been. It's the way we talk to each other without talking. Keeps newer thieves from becoming dead thieves and all that nonsense. There aren't that many of the bloody things, so I don't want to hear any excuses about not having the time to learn them. Anyway, enough of my gabbing. Time to put on your wizard's cap and do some research. Glossary of shadow marks. Oh, so... This is a symbol for the guild. This means a place is as safe as a flag and, flag and sister. If you see this shadow mark, someone from the guild is nearby for certain. We usually leave this shadow mark when we've scouted and found a safe way around something in a hallway without traps, maybe a house that's already cleared out. If you see one of these, head the way it's pointing and you'll be fine. So this... It's like a glossary of what it... Okay, this is excellent. We are keeping that. All from glory. We'll definitely read that later. That's awesome, Inigo. That's going to help us out big time. 
Well, let's maybe go and have a bite to eat. Just chill out a little bit. And then when, uh, as soon as sun uh, breaks, we'll head out on the road. Because we are going to go and help find this sixth house bell hammer for Orion Morales to help him get his museum going. And he told me it's just down the road across a bridge outside of Riften. So we'll go check it out. Let's go do that. We might as well pick some of these flowers in to go while we're heading out. I think if we can tackle this job, then we could maybe go spend a day in White Run and uh, just relax a little bit, eh? What do you think? Let's go. Orion said this was just down the road a ways from White Run. You know, Inigo, I was thinking about it too. I'm over this way, buddy. I was thinking about it as well. I think we should maybe think about getting ourselves a couple horses, maybe. And I was talking with the guy in White Run at the stables there, and he wanted a thousand dollar or a thousand gold for a horse. So maybe. Where the hell did you go? You just stand there admiring the beauty, Inigo, or what? What are you waiting for? I'm trying to talk to you and you're just kind of hanging around. Are you a little burnt out or what? But as I was saying, Inigo, I think... Are you going backwards? Watch you do not trip. Are you going to be like a backseat driver always telling me don't run, don't run backwards? I know you're looking out for me, man. I know I shouldn't get all uptight. Uh oh. I think we better uh, keep our eyes open here, Inigo. Here they come. Pack of dogs. I hope you are not rabid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mr. Dragonfly thought that was exhilarating. <laughs> Mr. Dragonfly thought it was exhilarating. So did I. Getting attacked by a pack of dogs. Where'd the other one go? Where'd we miss him? Oh, here he is. Ah. What's up with this one? There he is. Anyways, like I've been trying to say, I think it would be a good idea. Watch out, Inigo. He's still sliding. But I think it'd be a good idea if we get ourselves a couple horses. What do you think? Uh-huh. No, my mind is as empty as a beggar's purse. Okay, so you're pretty tired right now, eh? All right, well, let's keep going. Now, or Orion said that this place was just past the bridge on our, la our right, so... What the hell is this? Watch out, Inigo! I'm just protecting you, brother. He's coming back. This guy is... What's... Oh, good job, Inigo. We don't need help. Okay, some venison. We can cook that up. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Hey, what's going on here? In it go. It's on. Like, oh, that one was easy. Good job, man. Bandits. Iron armor. King. Two-handed. I'll have a look at that. Nothing else really worth anything. This iron armor. I could take it, I guess. I want to see what this book was about. King. By, by Revan. I'll have to read that a little later. Later. 
Doesn't look like anything else up here. In you go. A backpack. We'll take it and sell it. We've got our black one. I notice you're not wearing yours. You must not need it right now. Oh, there is a crate here. Or a chest. That was easy enough. Got a little bit. Of, this was a good little stash. In it go. Well worth a stop. Well, let's keep moving. Pretty eventful morning already. Now, we did say it was on the other side of the bridge, so keep our eyes open. There's a butterfly. <gasps> We're here in one of those Nern root plants. It's under the bridge? I think when we get back to White Run Indigo, we should uh, really concentrate a little more on this alchemy. See if we can buy a little bit more blister wart from the alchemist. There's one. I gotta find out what that is for. Maybe somebody's got a book, like a recipe book somewhere. That would be good. You find something like that. Rather than having to go through the torture of trying all these ingredients and see what they do. Now, I don't know whether he said left or right. There is a place up there. There's also a gate here. Let's go this way first because I'm pretty sure he mentioned to go right after the bridge. In you go. Uh oh, here's somebody in go. Oh, they're not friendly. Taking shots at me. <laughs> oh, nice job. Nice job. Oh, there's somebody else in go. Now, that first one wasn't too friendly, so I don't imagine this one is either. That went really well. Where's that first one that you took out? Did you fall down the hill? In it go. I don't know where she went. Or he. We won't worry about it. There's some more arrows. I'll take those. I could have swore that you, uh, or one of us hit her. Like right around here somewhere. Um, uh, maybe I'm out to lunch. Let's go see if this is the place we're supposed to be. Broken Helm Hollow. I think this is it. Another cave, Inigo. What are these mushrooms? Blister wart. We need that. For our health potions. Is this more? Here's rot. Diamantia. Really intrigued by that crossbow idea, Inigo. crossbows would be pretty deadly but it's gonna take us a heck of a long time well maybe you can craft ebony I wonder if we, I could get you to do it I don't know this place smells funny Sounds
that's easy enough. Sneak attacks are good to have. It smells damp in here. It does. Iron ingot. Salt pile. Or pick. Might be able to get a few bucks for it. Don't see much else down here. A little bit of wine. There's a little path that goes up there. Ah, uh, well, the hide armors. Probably get a few bucks for that. Let's be quiet in case there's something else up here. Quiet in a go. There's a chest up here, it looks like. Oh, there's somebody else sleeping. Uh-oh. He didn't go down. Or she. In it go. In it go, do something. What are you guys just standing there for? You healed yourself. Good job, man. Oh, you're deadly with that blade. Oh, this was a bandit chief. An elven dagger. Armsman sword. Wow, this is some pretty good armor, too. You might look good in this. What do you think? I kind of like looking like twins, eh? Don't you? I think that might be it, Inigo. Or this part of it, anyway. You see something that interests you? Help yourself, man. Iron helmet. Why not? Salt pile. A green ninja doll. Adela Sankator. Interesting. Filter of lock picking. Lock picking is 40% easier for 30 seconds. This might come in handy if we get like a real tough one. Well, this one's got a trap in a go. That wasn't too bad. Amethyst. One of those cards. You're gonna have to go back and see that fella in uh, Windhelm. Iron boots of minor stamina. Increase your stamina by 20 points. It's heavy armor though. But we'll take it, maybe sell it. Some lock picks. Robe of destruction. Wow, that's worth a few, th uh, few gold. Staff of fury. Creatures and people up to level four will attack anything nearby for 60 seconds. That might come in handy. Steel sword. Kind of weighs a lot and it doesn't worth a lot. All right. Well, I don't see this bell hammer that Orion wanted. Maybe it's up there, but I don't see a way to get up there, Inigo. I'm just not too sure. Oh, here's a. And back, Inigo. Might be some danger in here. I'm not seeing anything. Oh. Couple backups, I don't think. 
Something was going on in here. Leafnar. Fort Leafnar's death to his family at the Hartwood Mill on the western edge of the lake. Wow. There it is, Inigo. That's what we're after. Wow, 1300. Frostbite. Potent poison. All right, well, we can return that to Orion, but we'll have to uh, get those other couple things that he wanted too. Is that it for in here, Inigo? I think it might be. Well, that wasn't too bad. Small cave, what do you think? Something on your mind? What do you think? Mr. Dragonfly is thinking this is the most fun you can have in a jar. He would know. I bet he would. You really think pretty highly of this, Mr. Dragonfly, don't you? Carrots. Tomatoes. That's going to come in handy. We have already searched these guys, right? Oh, he had an iron arrow on him. Might as well take that. Well, in I go. Oh, some more mushrooms. I think we should seriously consider going back to White Run now. Let's get back to Riften. Catch the carriage. Get back to White Run, rest up, and uh, maybe do a little bit more experimenting with some alchemy to try to get ourselves some more potions. Those we gonna... we cannot create, destroy, and steal. That's right. So what is it we create? Is it chaos? 